Hey, turn the house lights on. Turn the house lights on. Please don't make some noise. All right, we did it. I love you guys. My full name is uh, Tumo Uotasi James Tuine the Third. You know, people call me Tumo as a shorter name, but it's a Samoan name. Tumo Uotasi means the one and only chief of all chiefs. But the word Tumua, if you look it up in the Samoan dictionary, it, it means uh, to stand and speak first. So now that I look back on it, and I'm a comedian, I do stand-up comedy, it kinda, it's kind of funny to me to, to think that, and almost uh, like a full circle type of moment. I never thought I would be a comedian. When I was young, when I was a small kid, I was really into magic. Like I'd do like card tricks, coin tricks. My, my stage name was Kid Magic, so that's, that's kind of how I think I was like comfortable on stage, but I, I never in my, my life I thought I would be a comedian. But I feel like that's how I'm, I'm, I have that like stage presence and, and being comfortable performing in front of people. I don't know where I'm from on the island of Oahu because my dad's side of the family is from Waianae side, my mom's side of the family is from Kaneohe side, but I kind of, most of my life lived Evo Beach, you know, but we was always moving a lot growing up. So I, I lived in Evo Beach, Kaneohe side, Kahalu, now I'm in Miley and Eva, and even Manoa I lived when I went to, to Punahou. So I, I think that helped me because I, I got to know a little bit about each part of the island. And I think that's how I can relate to my audience as I talk about like, oh, when you're from Evo Beach or if you're from Waianae or the East Side people over there. So I think that helped growing up and, and moving all different places. I went to Punahou High School um, from ninth grade on and uh, my whole life I went to public school. I'm very uh, blessed and thankful that, you know, my parents paid for me to go to Punahou. And before comedy, you know, football was my, was my first love. You know, I loved football, I wanted to be uh, in the NFL, just like my uncle and my dad, and I have a few cousins that went in the NFL too. So uh, football was, was, was my life, you know. I, I played it since I was a small kid. I played football at Punahou. From there, I wanted to play D1 football, you know, and I wanted to play in front of my family and friends. So I walked on to UH, played football, and that's actually where I first found comedy, was at UH. I took a stand-up comedy class in the theater department, and I took it with my, my, my good friend, Hunter Hughes. He's a, he was a teammate at the time. And we took the class. We only had like four people in the class. It was crazy, you know? It was great. That's where I, I, I learned how to do stand-up comedy, you know? I, I thought the class was just gonna teach us about like the different types of comedy and maybe study some specials, but believe it or not, in that class, they actually make you perform like at bars and open mics so that was part of the requirement you had to go to like like six open mics throughout the semester and you had to have like the the booker sign it and everything and, and when I heard that on the first day of class I was like well I don't know if I was ready to sign up for this you know but um I just did it did all the open mics and then for our final exam or a final presentation we had to perform a live 10 minutes in front of an actual audience and it was at Anna O'Brien's and I remember that night like it was yesterday the whole football team showed up because people didn't believe that I was doing comedy you know um, growing up I, I was a very shy guy you know I, I never really uh, like I said I didn't think I was gonna be a comedian so this was this was new to everyone even my, my family members I, I hardly told any of my family members that I was doing comedy because I was, I was shame, you know, but <laughs> I think that, yeah, that night, the whole football team showed up on that live, live exam and uh, I just killed it, you know, I did the 10 minutes, the whole place burst out into laughing and um, this uh, one comedy promoter, uh, Jose Dynamite, he was there, he books a lot of the, the local comedy shows here in Hawaii. He seen me and then he invited me back again, I think the next day to do another show. And then it just kept going and kept going and kept going. And it's been about five years of me doing, doing stand-up comedy and I never stopped since.